Hello there everybody and welcome back to another video. Today in this video we're going to be discussing why Disney and Lucasfilm will not wreck on the Star Wars sequels. First and foremost, it makes absolutely no financial sense. The sequels made like $5 billion, why would they wreck on them? And also, a very very common theory that I've also heard is that Dave Filoni and John Favreau would wreck on them, but I don't think they will. I think the pair of them will use things like the Mandalorian to... Um, like explain the sequels and explain why Luke becomes such an idiot in The Last Jedi and stuff like that and they'll use the sequel trilogy or they use other resources to explain the sequels. That's what I think what they'll do but hey that's just me. So another reason why they probably won't is because of Kathleen Kennedy honestly but I don't really care so long as Kathleen Kennedy stays away from Mando like everything that she's tried to do I don't know if you guys know this let me explain something quickly right so in Rogue One in the first episode in Rogue One there was originally going to be scenes of Vader slaughtering rebels on the beaches of Scarif Kathleen Kennedy said to get rid of that <laughs> let's just put that out there right now and also um, she wanted to cut down the amount of scenes in the, of Luke Skywalker in the ending of Mando. She just wanted it to be just a simple thing of him just showing up. Wanted to cut out his hallway scene and all of that other stuff because she thought that it would just be a bit too aggressive out and just a bit too far out there. But obviously that didn't happen which is good because that's probably the best scene in the show. And I think she probably also prevented Ryan Johnson because... Wouldn't it have been amazing just in Last Jedi just to have something as simple as just Luke agree to go with Rey and just then go and just and fight Snoke? I don't care if he if he wins or loses, just to see him fight Snoke and Rey fight Kylo, that'd be fine. Literally just as an ending scene, and that would make an amazing lightsaber fight and it'd be cool, but oh well. But as I said, yes, yeah, so as long as Kathleen Kennedy stays away from future projects like um, The Mandalorian Seasons 3 and 4, and Rangers of the New Republic, and The Book of Boba Fett, and the Kenobi series as well, just to name a few. I'll be satisfied. Um, yeah, so, as I said, um, they won't wreck on them, because they'll just improve things coming up to help explain them. But I don't think that they would go full on and just wreck on them completely, and make some legends, and just because it just wouldn't make financial sense at all. But hey, if I was Disney, I would have probably ended The Rise of Skywalker by actually having Grand Admiral Thrawn say something at the end to a scientist. Something like, um, over a communication thing, like here, have just Grand Admiral Thrawn just saying, Your first attempt at... Your attempt to clone Darth Sidious succeeded. Sadly, his plan was for was flawed. Now I will take over, or just something like that. And just it just would have been such a cliffhanger, and it would have been amazing. And then you don't even have to make movies; you can make spin-off shows about that and everything, and it would be insane. Yep, but I don't think they're wrecked on the sequels. And I would like to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in a brand new video. Bye bye.